It's one of the most iconic structures in all of Sumner County. But what's the story behind the rock structure you see there behind me? We're about to find out. When you drive by this, you might wonder what it is. I had the same thought. That's why I asked Sumner County historian Kenneth Thompson the story behind this structure. The structure behind me is a water tank that was built by the Southern Grasslands Hunt and Racing Foundation in 1929 for the water supply for this farm, which was their headquarters. And the house was right behind me, the racing um, headquarters, and uh, they needed water for the stables and for the hounds that they had here, as well as the, the uh, structure behind me. And so they had a well at the river with an electric pump that pumped it all the way up in the tower, and then by gravity it went to the stables and the, and the kennels and the house. A small group of wealthy fox hunters in Middle Tennessee purchased 634 acres here in Gallatin with a few goals in mind steeplechase racing and fox hunting. Oh, it was very popular for the length of time that it was. It uh, was only lasted three years and it started during the depression and they thought it would be, would survive the depression, but it didn't uh, because all the members had to pay $10,000 membership. And that was a lot of money <laughs> in those days. It's a lot of money now for a membership. But each board member had to come up with five people, $50,000 per person, you know, for five memberships. And they came up with a lot of money, but it, it wasn't enough for all they did around here. Everything they bought up and the 62 pieces of property and 1,500 acres, 28 square miles, and it just, it didn't pay. <coughs> and those men weren't interested in winning money from the uh, steeplechase, they were interested in the trophy. And the main trophy was donated by King Alfonso XIII of Spain, and it's still being used in Virginia today. They used it as an observatory too. <laughs> they could see the race, races go up and down this road. They par the racetrack paralleled the, the highway. Okay. That was the Andrew Jackson Highway. And they lost money because people didn't pay to get in. They could sit on the highway and watch the races go by, you know. They had uh, what they call steeplechases, like the Iroquois steeplechase in Nashville, and they jumped barriers, and they were usually rail fences. In those days, they also had the old rock fences that were still here, and they jumped the rock fences. And it was a rich man's sport, and they did have jockeys for the jumpers, but the rich men rode their own horses when they chased the hounds. They had both entities here, the okay. steeplechase and the fox hunt. Okay. They ran out of foxes that would use hares. They kept, they raised hares, type of rabbits, you know, to, sure. to chase. Although the races here only lasted three short years, it's a period of time in this county's rich history that will never be forgotten. Today, the water tower still stands strong the only structure which remains from 1929 on this land. A structure that is quite eye-catching, even if you don't know the story behind it. But thanks to Kenneth Thompson, now we do. Reporting from Gallatin, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.